Hi friends, welcome to my channel Civil 3D Pro Designer. We have exercise number 5 for chapter number 15. How to edit pressure network using plan layout tools. One way to edit a pressure network is to use the pressure network plan layout ribbon tab which is the same one you already used initially to create the pressure network. To launch the ribbon in editing mode instead of creation mode, you select a component of the pressure uh, network in your drawing. Then click edit network and plan layout tools which we will practice now. Before starting, if you are new on my YouTube channel and looking for a civil 3D basic to advanced complete course, you can subscribe my channel on YouTube and start from chapter number 1. Let's start our exercise. You can download practice drawing from the description named editing pressure network using plan layouts layout tools okay we have same drawing which we are working with real time project and uh, we already done many things like parcel alignment profiles everything and now we are on a uh, pressure networks for chapter number 15 in this exercise we will use plan layout tools to change out several fittings and uh, we will also add a pipe to the end of the waterline network along uh, our Jordan court. In the left viewport here zoom into the circle D2 Click the elbow located near the center of red circle at D2. Here we have this elbow and just delete this because it was not correct here. We will make correction for this elbow. Click one of the pipe to display when you will click it will open contextual tab and you can click on edit networks and here we have plan layout tools when you will click it will give you pressure pipe network commands make sure you have surfaces surface as road fg and cover should be 1.5 and then uh, 150 millimeter ductile iron for pipes uh, for size and select here 150 millimeter and 45 degree elbow then click on add just uh, escape press escape to clear the selection and then uh, click on add fitting click on this pipe if you have uh, if you want to rotate your elbow you can use these two arrows to do that something like this okay now our one pipe has been connected with elbow but another pipe is not connected with elbow and we will uh, connect that just select your pipe and then you can see diamond grip just click on grip and come into your another end of elbow so you are two pipes now connected with your elbow now go to the circle e and here you can see we have some awkward elbow now select and delete this also then here do the same 
150 millimeter elbow 45 degree select and add fittings and just click on this as you can see we have not this elbow in right direction i will move that just click right here and now select your pipe and diamond shape to put it here so our pipe network has been completed here i want to put a t fitting uh, for my pressure pipe because i want to connect this pipe and i want to add some more uh, pipes another for here how can we do that just select your elbow and delete now here you can see we have t 150 millimeter t select this one and go to add fittings and click on this pipe you will get something like this now the t is not in the right direction i want to rotate something like this and then click on this pipe to move it at this end of your t now we have one end of t is free which i want to add pipe just click on it and here you can see a plus grip just click on your plus grip then you have three standard bands in your t i will go with center band i don't need any band and just click on your edge circle in the center of red circle and press enter to complete your pipe so you can see how can we add fittings and pipes to our existing pressure network using plan layout tools in civil 3d hope you like this video for more advanced knowledge of civil 3d and land surveying please subscribe civil 3d pro designer and you can also access through my facebook page civil 3d